Today I'm going to demonstrate a greater occipital nerve block performed under ultrasound guidance. The purpose of this block is to help diagnose and treat headache syndromes that may be arising from the posterior occiput. This can occur as a result of trauma or other incident. The inion is located, the occipital protuberance. The measurement is made three and a half centimeters down and one and one half centimeters over. This is the approximate location and the tracking of the greater occipital nerve and the artery with it. Utilized in this particular block will be the M-Turbo ultrasound system, utilizing the high-frequency HFL50 linear probe. The patient is placed in the prone position. A bolster is placed under the thorax. The head is slightly flexed, and then the hair moved out of the way. The anatomic location to begin is the inion or the occipital protuberance. Three centimeters below this, the skin is marked, and then typically one and a half centimeters lateral to that is the entry point for the blind technique. These will serve as our landmarks to place the ultrasound. Part of the reason to utilize ultrasound in this case is to avoid accidental injection within the greater occipital artery as well as hematoma and other complications that can occur from this block. To perform the block, the following items are used. Chlorhexidine prep and the local anesthetic solution, typically a buffered lidocaine for the skin and then below this approximately two to three cc's of one percent lidocaine and quarter percent bupivacaine and potentially a small amount of steroid if desired. The needle size is simply a one and a half inch standard needle, 27 gauge will suffice. We will also use ultrasound gel as well as a band-aid if necessary for the conclusion of the procedure. To commence, the target site is covered with a thin layer of ultrasound gel and then the probe placed in the transverse application at the midline and then the probe is gently rolled out. In the midpoint of the screen at this point when turning on the color flow Doppler we will be able to identify the greater occipital artery. So immediately medial to this is the location of the greater occipital and lesser occipital nerve prior to their branching. The injection would occur above, local anesthetic injected for the skin followed by the one and a half inch needle to contact os and avoid entry into the blood vessel. the needle removed, and then the probe placed, the area cleansed, and a band-aid placed over the incision. This concludes the successful placement of a greater occipital block under ultrasound guidance.